welcome to communication engineering playlist here in this session i'll be going to explain amplitude modulation so in this session first i'll explain what is the basics of amplitude modulation then after i'll explain how physically signal is getting change in amplitude modulation then after we will derive basic equations which is very helpful to solve out problems based on amplitude modulation and then at the end i'll sum up this session by frequency response which is there with amplitude modulated signal so let us begin this session with basics of amplitude modulation so first of all what is amplitude modulation so amplitude modulation is a process in which amplitude of carrier signal changes with respect to modulating signal so here in amplitude modulation amplitude of carrier signal get modifies with respect to modulating or message signal so this is what the basic process which happens now here as you can see this is what modulating signal mt so this is modulating signal mt so mt that is modulating signal now as one can see this modulating signal is low frequency signal and if i say its amplitude that is varying in between plus am to minus am and that is what sine signal so that signal is am sin if i say its frequency is omega m then omega m t so modulating signal that is am sin omega m t this is carrier signal that is high frequency signal so this carrier signal that is high frequency signal one can clearly see number of cycles are quite more than modulating signal and that is what the basic agenda which is there with modulation process so here this ct that is carrier signal so ct that is carrier signal and if i say its amplitude varies from plus ac to minus ac and if its frequency is omega c then we can say it is ac sin omega c t now here this yt is what amplitude modulated signal now here one can see this yt that is what having frequency similar to carrier signal so frequency of carrier signal and modulated signal both are same but amplitude of carrier signal that is changing with respect to modulating signal so one can see here this is how amplitude is changing where here modulating signals amplitude is changing like this and carrier signals envelope this is what we can say envelope of carrier signal so that envelope of carrier signal that is changing as amplitude of modulating signal so amplitude of carrier signal changes as per modulating signal and that is what amplitude modulated amplitude modulation process now here one basic thing that we need to focus about like see this amplitude of carrier signal is ac and that is varying from plus or minus ac like this and modulating signal that is having amplitude which is varying from plus am to minus am so here at this instant amplitude of this modulated signal that is maximum so what has to be this amplitude that should be ac plus am so this amplitude of this modulated signal that is ac plus am while over here one can see amplitude of modulating signal is minimum that is minus am so over here envelope of carrier signal that will be having amplitude that is ac minus am so this amplitude that will be 
AC minus AM. So this is what amplitude of amplitude modulated signal over here. So ultimately you will be finding amplitude of carrier signal means envelope of amplitude that is getting changed with respect to modulating signal and that is what the basic process which is there with amplitude modulation. So amplitude modulation that is a process in which amplitude of carrier signal changes with respect to message signal. Here message signal is empty and amplitude of carrier signal that is getting changed with respect to message signal that is what the basic process which is happening here. Now I will be deriving this equation of amplitude modulated signal. So what will be amplitude modulated signal? So that is what I will be explaining here. So amplitude modulated signal so that will be if I say that is yt so that is let us say it is a dash its frequency is not changing so omega ct so carrier signals frequency that is not changing what is getting change of carrier signal amplitude so now new amplitude is a dash now how it is getting change so that is getting change as per AC plus modulating signals amplitude MT. So this is what A dash. So that A dash that is changing as per modulating signal MT. So that A dash is AC plus MT. So this is what amplitude modulated signal. Now as I have told modulating signal that is AM sin omega MT. So just place this in this equation. So it will be now AC plus MT is AM sine omega MT into sine omega C T. Now here if I take AC common from this counts in that case now it will be AC common take it outside now this will be 1 plus AM divided by AC into sin omega MT into sin omega C T. So this is what my amplitude modulated signal. Now here AM by AC that is modulating index. Here AM divided by AC means amplitude of modulating signal divided by amplitude of carrier signal that is modulating index. So let us say this is mu and that is modulating index. So now this equation of modulated signal now that will change is to yt is equals to ac into 1 plus mu sin omega mt into sin omega ct. Now here just re-simplify this. So yt that is ac sin omega ct plus a into mu into sin omega mt into sin omega ct. Now what I will be doing here, I will be taking this signal in terms of frequency components and to have that signal in terms of frequency component, I will be doing this 2 ss is equals to c minus c sorry minus c plus c so just multiply 2 and divide 2 so that will result into yt that is ac sin omega ct plus a mu by 2 into cos omega c minus omega m into t minus a into mu by 2 
इंटू कॉस ऑफ ओमेगा सी प्लस ओमेगा एम इंटू टी सो दिस इज वॉट माई बेसिक इक्वेशन ऑफ एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेटेड सिग्नल नाउ हियर वन थिंग दैट इज क्लियरली विजिबल दैट इज दिस सिग्नल दैट इज हैविंग थ्री डिफरेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेट वन इज ए सी साइन ओमेगा सिटी सेकेंड इज म्यू ए बाय टू इंटू कॉस ओमेगा सी माइनस ओमेगा एम टी एंड दिस इज म्यू ए बाय टू इंटू कॉस ऑफ ओमेगा सी प्लस ओमेगा एम टी सो दिस सिग्नल इज हैविंग थ्री फ्रीक्वेंसी कंपोनेंट्स दिस सिग्नल इज हैविंग थ्री फ्रीक्वेंसी कंपोनेंट and that is omega c omega c plus omega m and omega c minus omega m so these three frequency components are there with this signal this omega c that is what carrier signal which is even we are transmitting in am signal and that is having amplitude ac which is what amplitude of carrier signal and this frequency component which is what side bends we can say omega c plus omega m and omega c minus omega m these are side bends so side bend is having amplitude side bend amplitude that is mu a this is what exactly ac not only a it is ac so mu ac by 2 mu is modulating index that is modulated uh, modulating signal amplitude divided by carrier signal amplitude so that will be am by ac into ac by 2 so that is exactly am by 2 so this is what amplitude of side band now as if we see this basic signal which is what modulated signal then if you plot its frequency response then that frequency response that i am plotting it over here so that will be looks like here there is amplitude and here there is frequency so there are three frequency component this is omega c this is omega c minus omega m and here frequency component is omega c plus omega m omega c frequency component that is having amplitude ac so this is what amplitude which is there with carrier signal that is ac in amplitude modulated signal and side bends that is having amplitude mu ac by 2 mu ac by 2 so this is what amplitude which is there with side bend that is omega c minus omega m and omega c plus omega m so that is what the amplitude which is there with side bend now here few things that we need to discuss as a basics of amplitude modulated system now in amplitude modulated sig signal if you see there are three things which we are sending carrier signal and side bands now carrier signal is not having information you can see information means message signal so message signal that is having frequency omega mt carrier signal is ac sin omega ct so the signal which we send by this component is not a information so this is not information so when we send signal by amplitude modulated signal in that case we send carrier signal so that is what waste of power and major power that is there with this you can see amplitude is more with omega c so amplitude modulated signal is having higher power that is there with carrier signal and that is unwanted signal so this is where some drawbacks are there with am so this is what the drawback 
which is there with AM, which is sending AC sin omega CT, that is carrier signal. Now, there are few more drawbacks, like if you see the bandwidth of AM signal, then this bandwidth is this much. Now, what is that bandwidth? That bandwidth is bandwidth that is omega C minus omega M2 omega C plus omega M. So, it means it is 2 omega M. So, this is what the bandwidth which is there with AM. So, this bandwidth is higher bandwidth than the bandwidth of modulating signal. So, when we talk about bandwidth of AM signal, then that bandwidth is double than the damp bandwidth which is there with signal. So, it acquires higher bandwidth as well as this AM signal that is having higher amount of power which we need to transmit for wireless communication. So, these are the basic problems which is there with AM and to solve out those issues, there are few more techniques which is there with amplitude modulation. Those are double sideband suppressed carrier as well as single sideband suppressed carrier. So, that I will explain in future videos. So, in next sessions, you will be finding, I will be explaining you double DSBSC, double sideband suppressed carrier and SSBSC, single sideband suppressed carrier. So, that is what I will be explaining in next few sessions. So, stay tuned with this. So, one should have basic idea about what is AM, amplitude modulation and that is what sending carrier signal plus sideband signals. So, this is what sideband signal omega C plus omega M and omega C minus omega M and its amplitude is mu AC by 2. Now, here a few more things that we need to focus about. One is modulating index. Now, what is modulating index? Amplitude of modulating signal divided by amplitude of carrier signal. So, here modulating index that should be lower than 1. Modulating index that should be lower than 1. Otherwise, there will be phase distortion that will be there with amplitude modulated signal. So, that we will be discussing in few of next sessions where you will come to know like why there should be modulating index which should be lower than unity. So, here in this session, this is what the basics regarding amplitude modulated signal and amplitude modulation process. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can suggest me those things which is required to complete communication engineering. Definitely, I will try to sort out those queries which is there regarding communication engineering and in future, you will be finding many more videos regarding communication. Thank you so much for watching this video.